All right, guys. Um, uh, I got the uh, VMAX Motor by Falcon. Um, kind of first impression on it. It looks a lot like a rotor. It seems to function like a rotor. I haven't taken it out and tested it yet. Just getting it out of the box. It's definitely a lot cheaper than the rotors, which I kind of consider a tad overpriced, even though I have one and sell a lot of them. Uh, going up to 190, 200 bucks is a little ridiculous. The plastic on this feels just a little bit thinner than the the rotor shell. Um, so I'm kind of comparing it to what I consider the standard. Again, this uh, shelf we have here just kind of peels out. You know, toolless entry. These uh, tabs in here. Again, in my opinion, it doesn't feel as good as a, a rotor, but still feels good enough that if you want something that's a little bit cheaper, the, the price going right on this. Uh, Loaders around 130, um, which still seems a little bit overpriced to me for what you're getting. Um, simple design. Uh, I'm not sure if this this feels a little bit narrow. There's a a little. If we be able to see this in the in the sun here, it's a little tab in there. Um, I guess we're just kind of making sure the paintballs kind of helping prevent them from getting jammed. I'm not sure it's really necessary. It's uh, really hard. It has a, some worry to me that it, you know, potentially uh, might actually puncture a paintball. I mean, I guess they've tested these things enough that they're pretty confident of it. I I don't really know that it's necessary. Put the thing back together really uh, pretty simple. You need to take it apart quick. Uh, I think this is a good loader overall. I'm kind of saying some positives and some negatives about it. Uh, you can see I'm basically dealing with one hand here. I'm get a power switch in the back there. Pretty simple design. Uh, supposedly the battery door, you don't have to have that screw in, although um, I would highly recommend keeping that in there. Um, it's put there for a reason. You know, my one uh, sales rep said that it's really not necessary. They just did it to make sure the battery door never comes out. Uh, I personally hate to lose my battery door. So, uh, lid, not bad. Don't stick too badly. We have speed feeds come out for these. Um, not sure whether they went with this kind of oval design. It's a very unique shape there. Um, be interesting to see the speed feeds, see how well they work. Um, has a very, uh, if you look look uh, head on, this is a really good thing about it. Uh, there would be a plus over the rotors. It's a lighter weight, which is nice. Um, it also has a very low profile. I don't know if we can walk over here and you're not going to be, get, because of depth perception, you're not going to get a real good uh, idea. But if you're looking head on to a rotor, just a little bit fatter on the rotor. And that's a little bit more narrow, and then it widens out as you get to the back. So if I switch this around the back, you know, it's definitely a fatter back. So if you're playing speedball, what that matters is you have a better chance of getting a bounce. So that's the uh, Valken VMAX.